Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here. Did a fun little walk around of the Eisenhower campus, museum, library, uh, original homestead, and then the place of meditation, which is probably the most special place for me. Um, but I wanted to just kind of take a walk around the whole center, maybe just uh, chat a little bit. wonderful day and I'm not sure if I'm going to include this in the actual video from this have some ideas and uh, not sure if I'm going to make it just a regular vlog or if it's going to end up being something separate so while here I wanted to take a second and just uh, you know share a little bit of Catfish Jones at the Eisenhower Memorial and not just a video of the Eisenhower Memorial so very likely this will be posted separately. I think, I think I just made the decision. I think I've made the decision that this is going to be a separate video. A little bit of wind, so I apologize if, if it's all... Which may keep this from being posted at all. Um, wonderful little spot. Couldn't have asked for a better day to come out here. It's not every day in January you get to get up into the 50s, if not maybe 60s. I uh, really did enjoy my day today out here. Spent a lot of good time going through the museums. Um, but like I say, that place of meditation for me really is uh, <laughs> really is a special place. So I wanted to take some time. I just left the the library, which is very interesting. But there's not a lot to see because it's all behind the scenes, you know. Behind the scenes. I'd like to say I learned a lot, but growing up in Kansas, you learn a lot of the Eisenhower facts as you go through school. So most of the things here I more recalled than actually learned. But it's very interesting. A very interesting place indeed. If you guys are ever driving through Kansas, right through the middle of Kansas, uh, I-70, a um, little place called Abilene, the hometown of Dwight Eisenhower, one of our greatest presidents. And uh, it's an interesting little spot. Got these little monuments right here, which kind of talk about this land, the Eisenhower homestead, President Eisenhower's father and mother. Get it up right over here. Raised their kids to be fine, upstanding young men who then grew into their own. A nice little spot, a very nice little spot. Some really cool things to see. And I brought my mandolin with me, so played a little bit of mandolin along with it. Just a, I don't know, a place of, of quiet that makes sense place of reflection what I like are you can see them over here all of these solar panels nice to see a little bit of that going on a little uh, thoughts of conservation and such and the like no just a beautiful little spot beautiful little walk I'm trying not to interrupt others time here a couple of spots in here I was right at the same pace and right at the same place as another group or so and I either had to hang back a little bit so they could get on ahead or just kind of be at the same time so it was very weird um, of course, vlogging at a public place like this is always a little weird because people look at you funny for talking to your phone. They don't know why you're just shooting a film of everything. I missed my chance to go through the house, the old house, the old uh, Eisenhower house. But I caught some outside stuff, and the inside... I don't know, I didn't have it necessarily planned into my overall plan. So I don't know that it's necessarily worth 
hanging around another hour to catch the tour or that I even want to spend an hour on a tour of a very small house. First floor of a very small house. Second floor is closed for conservation. But there's plenty to see out here. Like I say, if you guys are just driving through the middle of Kansas, stop by Abilene. You'll see all kinds of signs saying uh, birthplace of Eisenhower and all kinds of wonderful things. Um, of course, old Abilene town is a little bit of a cow town for post-Civil War cattle driving tied in with the railroad and, and things like that. So a very interesting, interesting deal indeed. Behind me over here is the museum. And it's a it's an interesting spot too. There's lots of lots of great history, artifacts and such there. Worth seeing. Like I say, uh, the whole whole place is very interesting. This is one of my favorite spots right here though. I'll try to get a little close to it. Uh, there were some other YouTubers that have done this location before, um, and I didn't think they did too poorly of a job, but I certainly wanted to do my own. That's what I'm talking about right there. Champion of Peace. Hard to see more than a silhouette, but pretty neat. Pretty neat to be a part of it. Pretty neat indeed. Well, like I say, this probably will not be part of the official Eisenhower video I'm going to do, so I'll probably post this as a separate vlog. Just kind of walking through, having having a good day. Um, my town is only about a half, town, half hour away from Abilene, and like I say, growing up, it's just always part of, part of what there is, so... So it's interesting to actually get out here and spend some time in it in Eisenhower Center, you know, in all of the buildings. Um, the library is very weird. I kind of figured it would be like a library where you go in and there's some books that you can peruse, but it's very different. It's a research library, which means everything that they have, their stacks are behind closed doors and only researchers and, and special people with permissions have access to those things, which is fine. Although it would be very interesting to read through a lot of the declassified stuff in the archive. Um, Eisenhower known a lot for, obviously his wartime efforts, um, his, his work in World War I and World War II, but a lot of conspiracy-minded people tend to link him to the Roswell stuff, um, some stories out there that Eisenhower found out about Area 51, nobody would tell him about it, so he threatened to invade with the military, and that's a lot of why that secret was, was outed, not necessarily because he outed it, but because they figured, whoever they are, I don't know who they are, they figured... If, if he knows and he's willing to make a fuss, then we got to move locations. And there's lots of speculations on where they moved, but they had to keep something there so it looked interesting for anybody else. But uh, lots of alien speculation in connection to Eisenhower, to which I do not personally ascribe. Um, in fact, Eisenhower has a granddaughter who has some very interesting stories. And anybody interested in Secret Space Program... Um, probably the best way to see this stuff is via Project Camelot. And uh, I'm going way, way off the beaten path into this realm, but all the way around, a very fun day, a very good time. If you guys are interested in presidents of the United States or presidential history or just interested in something different, I hope you get a chance to take a, ch take a look at my visit to the Eisenhower Center. I think it's called the Eisenhower Center. The whole area. The five buildings and whatnot. So, But yeah. Um, I guess I'm just going to wrap it up right here. It's been a good little ten minute walk. That's not bad. Got to see a lot of it in the background. Let me kind of do one of these numbers. and Do a little bit of a panorama. 
So this right here is the visitor center. Well, right next to me is the place of meditation, although there's a little bit of a park worker here. This is the visitor center. Cruising along, what did I miss it? Oh, I missed it because of this tree. This is the Eisenhower home place. Or is it this right here? It's very interesting. And then the museum. And way down here are the pillars. So it was uh, a very fun, a fun day and very enjoyable. So if you guys get a chance to, hope you uh, check the whole thing out. And I appreciate you joining me on this little walk through the Eisenhower Center. I'm Catfish Jones, and I hope you're well. Cheers.